Over at the ninth, rookie Liz Genangelo playing well. She's a two under par. This is her third to the par five. Liz, uh, one of the many players from Duke out here, got through the qualifying school last year with a birdie at the very last hole to get her exempt card. And with Caddy on the bag with a whole bunch of experience, including surviving a, a round with me, Worth Blackwelder. <laughs> That's saying something. We've, uh, we've seen some pretty good players coming out of Duke in recent years, haven't we? We have, but none have yet okay, won eight, on the LPGA Tour, front, which I find swing. baffling. Got a couple out here this year, Anna Grzabian. Not many pars on that scorecard, Brian. This one. It's been a busy day for Liz. Right, yeah. 2.03 total. He knows how to handle this rookie. He's got a daughter about um, pretty close to that age. That's exactly right. His daughter, Mallory, plays for his wife, Myra. I think so. The, um, the little grenade launcher. <laughs> the grenade launcher. That's so <laughs> worth. <laughs> um, where should I aim it? Got to aim it right at the pin with this wind. Wind's got to push it a little left. Okay. Right edge of the tent? Yeah, right edge of the tent. It's perfect. Good rhythm. His daughter Mallory has been given an amateur's exemption into the Kraft Nabisco. Good. Liz, no doubt, aiming for that as an early season goal. Blow it. Blow it. Good smart play on the front edge. A little bit of an upslope. Well, each week we try to meet a rookie on the LPGA Tour. Let's learn more about Liz Genangelo of Duke. Hi, my name is Liz Genangelo. I'm 24 years old and from Connecticut. And in 2006, graduated from Duke University. This year I'm a rookie on the 2008 LPGA Tour. I got started in golf when I was three years old. Growing up, I played a lot of different sports, but my brother uh, was my role model and I wanted to be like him, so I'd tag along in the golf cart, hit a few putts. I think initially, like most little kids, I wanted to drive the cart, but uh, it ended up well. Here I am in Hawaii, getting to play golf for a living. What's better than that? So far, my top three accomplishments in golf have started from the beginning. Uh, in the AJGA, I was player of the year. At Duke, I was player of the year as well, and this year, I have the opportunity to be LPGA Rookie of the Year. This off season, I learned a lot. Um, not about myself, but about random things like the hippopotamus. It's the most dangerous animal in Africa. It kills more people than uh, all other animals combined. And then one really important thing that I learned is that a W9 is not a new version of WD40. So just beware uh, when filling those out, not the same. I guess to best describe myself is I do like to have a good time and have fun and, and tell a joke or two. A couple guilty habits. I enjoy uh, Diet Coke in excess and need to have a McDonald's ice cream cone every day. That might not be something uh, that everybody knows, but everyone out here seems to know it. Being a rookie, this year's been great. Everyone's been really nice and open invitations. Everyone's friendly, eager to say hello, uh, introduce themselves. Probably by the end of the year, more than once, I'm horrible with names. My goal for this week is just end for the rest of the year. Just go out, work hard, and have no regrets. If I do that, uh, everything should fall into place. I have a great opportunity in front of me to take advantage of. Words can't describe how special it is to be here. I'm excited to uh, have a good year and come out strong in the LPGA Tour. A McDonald's ice cream cone? She's never heard of Cold Stone? Ooh, now you're talking. I think she might be happy that the writer's strike is going to end because her next goal ought to be Saturday <laughs> Night Live. Well, she's certainly off to a good start here at two under par. 